Well, folks, for those who are listening and care, um, here's the latest. Um, got an MRI last um, Friday? No, no, Thursday. Thursday. Uh, I was having headaches, so I had an MRI on my brain. And got a call the next morning. I really didn't think anything of it. Thought I'd be spared any further problems. At this point, the previous week, haven't found out that, um, you know, that there were more spots on my liver and they, they had enlarged, making the disease, um, by definition, progressive. But, um, got a call Friday morning, 9 o'clock, and was told that there was lesions, 15 lesions, and on my brain that are cancerous. And uh, needless to say, uh, you know, put me in a, a damper on my morning, put me in a bit of a state of shock. I was actually starting to feel better uh, mentally, emotionally, but pretty much slammed me. Um, later on, when I saw uh, a radiologist and um, who who was actually uh, pretty calm and reassuring, and he said that spots are small and they haven't started affecting any brain functions. Um, so that they would do something called whole brain radiation. Um, so. For 10 days, consecutive days, I go and I stick my head in some sort of radiation chamber and get my whole brain radiated. And um, hopefully that'll get rid of the um, lesions. Of course, the lesions may come back and then they may have to do some other type of follow-up treatment. Um, so, um, that's where things stand, you know, just trying to keep people informed, um, who care. And, um, I'm just doing what I can to, to make it through, you know what I mean? I'm more, um, uh, considered, I'm, I'm considered an, a miracle of sorts and an anomaly because I'm still here. And usually the cancer doesn't even go to the brain with pancreatic cancer, because usually the pancreatic cancer kills the patient before that happens. So, um, <laughs> in an odd way, um, you know, it's it's um, kind of like an oxymoronic positive, you know. But anyway, hopefully they can get rid of it. And then hopefully again, and then I'm taking something, uh, an oral, um, form of chemo now. It makes me tired and it gives me sometimes diarrhea and it's also created these lovely little um, bumps on my head and chest and, um, but it's, you know, it's, again, something I have to do, and it's uh, it's trial, you know. Be, uh, about another month, I'll, I'll get scanned and see where things stand. Um, so, life is interesting. <laughs> um, I am looking forward to a trip. I'm taking to Las Vegas with... Um, couple good buddies of mine and and um, my nephew's wedding um, after that and some invitations from a couple other friends to do some things um, later this spring early summer just just keep on trying to do and be positive um, as much as I can um, and, and hope, you know, that for a miracle, 
um, you know, perhaps I'll actually beat this whole thing, and perhaps I won't. If I if I don't, then um, I gave it I gave it a good fight, but it's not over till it's over, and um, I'll continue to fight. Uh, these are, as my wife say, says, uh, are hurdles, you know, and um, just praying that, you know, my legs and, you know, we have strength to uh, get over them and, and maybe even defeat them. So, um, anyway, thanks for all your well wishes, your prayers. I hope things are going well in your lives and, and you're taking care of yourselves. And um, may God bless you.